Saint Vincent and the Grenadines Listen is a country in the Lesser Antilles Island Arc, in the southern portion of the Windward Islands, which lies in the West Indies at the southern end of the eastern border of the Caribbean Sea where the latter meets the Atlantic Ocean. The sovereign state is also frequently known simply as Saint Vincent. Its 389 square kilometers, 150 square miles territory consists of the main island of Saint Vincent and the northern two-thirds of the Grenadines, which are a chain of smaller islands stretching south from Saint Vincent Island to Grenada. Most of Saint Vincent and the Grenadines lies within the Hurricane Alley. To the north of Saint Vincent lies Saint Lucia, and to the east is Barbados. Saint Vincent and the Grenadines is a densely populated country for its size, over 300 inhabitants per square kilometer, with approximately 109,643 inhabitants. Kingstown is the capital and main port. Saint Vincent has a French and British colonial history and is now part of the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States, CARICOM, the Commonwealth of Nations, the Bolivarian Alliance for the Americas, and the Community of Latin American and Caribbean States, CELAC. Topic. Languages Topic. The main mother tongue is Vincentian Creole and the official language is English. Topic. History Topic. Topic. Early settlements Topic. The island now known as St. Vincent was originally named Ulumane by the native island Caribs who called themselves Kalina, Karina, L, and R, being pronounced the same in their language. The Caribs aggressively prevented European settlement on St. Vincent until 1719. Prior to this, formerly enslaved Africans, who had either been shipwrecked or who had escaped from Barbados, St. Lucia and Grenada and sought refuge in mainland St. Vincent, intermarried with the Caribs and became known as Black Caribs or Garifuna. <laughs> French colony, first phase The first Europeans to occupy St. Vincent were the French. Following a series of wars and peace treaties, the islands were eventually ceded to the British. While the English were the first to lay claim to St. Vincent in 1627, the French centred on the island of Martinique would be the first European settlers on the island when they established their first colony at Berouilly on the leeward side of St. Vincent in 1719. The French settlers cultivated coffee, tobacco, indigo, corn, and sugar on plantations worked by African slaves. Topic. British colony, first phase Topic. The British captured the island from the French during the Seven Years' War fought between 1754 and 1763. Saint Vincent was ceded to Great Britain by the Treaty of Paris 1763, after which friction between the British and the Caribs led to the First Carib War. On taking control of the island in 1763, the British laid the foundations of Fort Charlotte. Topic. French colony, second phase Topic. The island was restored to French rule in 1779 and regained by the British under the Treaty of Versailles 1783. Topic. British colony, second phase Topic. Between 1783 and 1796, there was again conflict between the British and the Black Caribs, who were led by Paramount Chief Joseph Chatoyer. Between 1795 and 1796, with French support from Martinique, the Black Caribs fought a series of battles against the British. Their uprising was eventually put down, resulting in almost 5,000 Black Caribs being exiled to the tiny island of Balasso off the coast of Bequia. Conflict between the British and the Black Caribs continued until 1796. In 1797 British General Sir Ralph Abercrombie put an end to the open conflict by crushing an uprising which had been supported by the French radical, Victor Hugues. The British deported more than 5,000 Black Caribs to Roatan, an island off the coast of Honduras. In 1806 the building of Fort Charlotte was completed. The La Soufrière volcano erupted in 1812. 
Like the French before them, the British also used African slaves to work plantations of sugar, coffee, indigo, tobacco, cotton and cocoa until full emancipation in 1838. The economy then went into a period of decline with many landowners abandoning their estates and leaving the land to be cultivated by liberated slaves. Slavery was abolished in St. Vincent as well as in the other British colonies in 1834, and an apprenticeship period followed which ended in 1838. After its end, labor shortages on the plantations resulted, and this was initially addressed by the immigration of indentured servants. In the late 1840s many Portuguese immigrants arrived from Madeira and between 1861 and 1888 shiploads of East Indian laborers arrived. Conditions remained harsh for both former slaves and immigrant agricultural workers, as depressed world sugar prices kept the economy stagnant until the turn of the century. 20th and 21st centuries In 1903, La Soufrière volcano erupted, killing 5,000 people. Much farmland was damaged, and the economy deteriorated. From 1763 until its independence in 1979, St. Vincent and the Grenadines passed through various stages of colonial status under the British. A representative assembly was authorized in 1776, Crown Colony government was installed in 1877, a legislative council was created in 1925, and universal adult suffrage was granted in 1951. During the period of its control of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Britain made several unsuccessful attempts to affiliate the island with other windward islands, with the aim of simplifying British control in the region through a single unified administration. In the 1960s, several regional islands under British control, including St. Vincent, also made an independent attempt to unify themselves politically. The unification was to be called the West Indies Federation and was driven by a desire to gain independence from British government. The attempt collapsed in 1962. St. Vincent was granted associate statehood status by Britain on 27 October 1969. This gave St. Vincent complete control over its own internal affairs but was short of full independence in law. On 27 October 1979, following a referendum under Milton Cato, St. Vincent and the Grenadines became the last of the Windward Islands to gain full independence. Independence came on the 10th anniversary of St. Vincent's associate statehood status. In April 1979, La Soufrière volcano erupted again. Although no one was killed, thousands were evacuated and again there was extensive agricultural damage. In 1980 and 1987, hurricanes damaged many banana and coconut plantations. Hurricane seasons were also very active in 1998 and 1999, with Hurricane Lenny in 1999 causing extensive damage to the west coast of the island. On 25 November 2009, voters were asked to approve a new constitution in a referendum. The new constitution proposed to make the country a republic, replacing Queen Elizabeth II as head of state with a non-executive president. A two-thirds majority was required, and it was defeated by 30,019 votes 55.64% to 12,493 43.13%. Topic. Geography. Topic. St. Vincent and the Grenadines lies to the west of Barbados, south of St. Lucia and north of Grenada in the windward islands of the Lesser Antilles, an island arc of the Caribbean Sea. The islands of St. Vincent and the Grenadines include the main island of St. Vincent 344 square kilometers 133 square miles and the northern two-thirds of the Grenadines 45 square kilometers 17 square miles, which are a chain of smaller islands stretching south from St. Vincent to Grenada. There are 32 islands and cays that make up St. Vincent and the Grenadines SVG. Nine are inhabited, including the mainland St. Vincent and the Grenadines Islands, Young Island, Bequia, Mystique, Cunawan, Union Island, Marrow, Petit St. Vincent and Palm Island. The capital of St. Vincent and the Grenadines is Kingstown, St. Vincent. The main island of St. Vincent measures 26 kilometers 16 miles long, 15 kilometers 9.3 miles in width and 344 square kilometers 133 square miles in area. 
From the most northern to the most southern points, the Grenadine Islands belonging to St. Vincent span 60.4 kilometers (37.5 miles) with a combined area of 45 square kilometers (17 square miles). The island of St. Vincent is volcanic and includes little level ground. The windward side of the island is very rocky and steep, while the leeward side has more sandy beaches and bays. St. Vincent's highest peak is La Sofriere Volcano at 1,234 metres 4 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Government and politics St. Vincent and the Grenadines is a parliamentary democracy and constitutional monarchy with Queen Elizabeth II as head of state, bearing the title Queen of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The Queen does not reside in the islands and is represented in the country by the Governor-General of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, currently Sir Frederick Ballantyne. The Office of Governor-General has mostly ceremonial functions including the opening of the island's House of Assembly and the appointment of various government officials. Control of the government rests with the elected Prime Minister and his or her cabinet. The current Prime Minister is Ralph Gonsalves, elected in 2001 as head of the Unity Labour Party. The legislative branch of government is the unicameral House of Assembly of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, seating 15 elected members representing single-member constituencies and six appointed members known as senators. The parliamentary term of office is five years, although the Prime Minister may call elections at any time. The judicial branch of government is divided into district courts, the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court and the Privy Council in London being the court of last resort. Political culture the two political parties with parliamentary representation are the New Democratic Party and the Unity Labour Party The parliamentary opposition is made up of the largest minority stakeholder in the general elections, headed by the leader of the opposition. The current opposition leader is Dr. Godwin Friday. Military St. Vincent has no formal armed forces, although the Royal St. Vincent and the Grenadines Police Force includes a special service unit as well as a militia that has a supporting role on the island. Administrative divisions Administratively, St. Vincent and the Grenadines is divided into six parishes. Five parishes are on St. Vincent, while the sixth is made up of the Grenadine Islands. Kingstown is located in the parish of St. George and is the capital city and central administrative center of the country. <laughs> Mental health in 2016, St. Vincent and the Grenadines launched a nationwide initiative to improve the psychological wellness and mental health of the population. The Psychological Wellness Initiative is believed to be the first comprehensive mental health service of its type in the world. This represents an open access, upstream, national program that is made available online and free of charge to individual citizens. This initiative comprises three online programs for anxiety, low mood and workplace stress, based on acceptance and commitment therapy The ACT programs are provided by Anglo-Finnish innovators Hedstad Limited and are sponsored by the European Union as part of the 10th European Development Fund. LGBT rights Homosexuality is illegal in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Section 148 of the Criminal Code states that, "...any person, who in public or private, commits an act of gross indecency with another person of the same sex, or procures or attempts to procure another person of the same sex to commit an act of gross indecency with him or her, is guilty of an offense and liable to imprisonment for five years." Topic. Foreign relations Topic. Topic. International and regional relationships Topic. 
Saint Vincent and the Grenadines maintains close ties to the US, Canada, and the United Kingdom, and cooperates with regional political and economic organizations such as the Organization of Eastern Caribbean States (OECS) and CARICOM. Topic: The Double Taxation Relief (CARICOM) Treaty. Topic: on 6 July 1994 at Sherbourne Conference Centre, St. Michael, Barbados, as a representative of the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, then James Mitchell, who was subsequently knighted, signed the Double Taxation Relief Caricom treaties. There were seven other signatories to the agreement on that day. The countries which were represented were, Antigua and Barbuda, Belize, Grenada, Jamaica, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, and Trinidad and Tobago. An eighth country signed the agreement on 19 August 2016, Guyana. This treaty covered taxes, residence, tax jurisdictions, capital gains, business profits, interest, dividends, royalties and other areas. FATCA <inaudible> 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 On 30 June 2014, St. Vincent and the Grenadines signed a Model 1 agreement with the United States of America with respect to Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act or FATCA, according to the updated site as of 16 January 2017. On 13 May 2016 the agreement went to in force status. Topic. International and regional bodies to which St. Vincent and the Grenadines belong. St. Vincent and the Grenadines is a member of the United Nations, the Commonwealth of Nations, the Organization of American States, and the Association of Caribbean States Acts. Organization of American States the Charter of the O's was signed in Bogotá in 1948 and was amended by several protocols which were named after the city and the year in which the protocol was signed, such as Managua in 1993, forming part of the name of the protocol. St. Vincent and the Grenadines entered the O's system on the 27th of October 1981, according to the O's website. Topic: <laughs> Summits of the Americas. Topic. The last summits of the Americas, the seventh, was held in Panama City, Panama in 2015 with the eighth summit being held in Lima, Peru in 2018 according to the website of the Summits of Americas. Topic. Indigenous Leaders Summits of Americas ILSA. Topic. With St. Vincent and the Grenadines having at least two groups of indigenous persons it is expected that there will be contributions from the SVG's on this topic at the next ILSAs. The position of the O's with respect to indigenous persons appears to be developing over the years. The following statements appear to capture the position of the OAS with respect to the ILSA. The OAS has supported and participated in the Organization of Indigenous Leaders Summits of Americas (ILSA), according to the OAS's website. The most recent statement made by the heads of state of the hemisphere was in the Declaration of Commitments of Port of Spain in 2009, paragraph 86, according to the OAS's website. The draft American Declaration of the Rights of the Indigenous Persons appear to be a working document. The last, meeting for negotiations in the quest for consensus on this area appeared to be meeting number 1818 and is listed as being held in May 2015 according to the website. <laughs> European nations in 2013, St. Vincent called for European nations to pay reparations for the slave trade. Venezuela St. Vincent protests Venezuela's claim to give full effect to AVS Bird Island, which creates a Venezuelan EEZ, continental shelf extending over a large portion of the Caribbean Sea. Economy Topic. Agriculture, dominated by banana production, is the most important sector of this lower middle income economy. 
The services sector, based mostly on a growing tourist industry, is also important. The government has been relatively unsuccessful at introducing new industries, and the unemployment rate remains high at 19.8% in the 1991 census to 15% in 2001. The continuing dependence on a single crop represents the biggest obstacle to the island's development as tropical storms wiped out substantial portions of bananas in many years. There is a small manufacturing sector and a small offshore financial sector whose particularly restrictive secrecy laws have caused some international concern. In addition, the natives of Bequia are permitted to hunt up to four humpback whales per year under IWC subsistence quotas. Tourism The tourism sector has considerable potential for development. The recent filming of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies on the island has helped to expose the country to more potential visitors and investors. Recent growth has been stimulated by strong activity in the construction sector and an improvement in tourism. Transportation <inaudible> 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 Argyle International Airport is the country's new international airport. The new facility opened on 14 February 2017, replacing the existing E.T. Joshua Airport. Communications In 2010, St. Vincent and the Grenadines had 21,700 telephone land lines. Its land telephone system is fully automatic and covers the entire island and all of the inhabited Grenadine Islands. In 2002, there were 10,000 mobile phones. By 2010, this number had increased to 131,800. Mobile phone service is available in most areas of St. Vincent as well as the Grenadines. St. Vincent has two ISPs Digicel, Flow, that provide cellular telephone and internet service. Demographics The population as estimated in 2016 was 109,643. The ethnic composition was 66% African descent, 19% of mixed descent, 6% East Indian, 4% Europeans mainly Portuguese, 2% Island Carib and 3% others. Most Vincentians are the descendants of African people brought to the island to work on plantations. There are other ethnic groups such as Portuguese from Madeira and East Indians, both brought in to work on the plantations after the abolishing of slavery by the British living on the island. There is also a growing Chinese population. Languages <inaudible> 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 Most Vincentians speak Vincentian Creole. English is used in education, government, religion, and other formal domains, while Creole or dialect, as it is referred to locally, is used in informal situations such as in the home and among friends. Topic: Religion. Topic: According to the 2001 census, 81.5% of the population of St. Vincent and the Grenadines is considered Christian, 6.7% has another religion and 8.8% has no religion or did not state a religion 1.5%. Anglicanism constitutes the largest religious category, with 17.8% of the population. Pentecostals are the second largest group, 17.6%. The next largest group are Methodists, 10.9% of the population, followed by Seventh-day Adventists, 10.2%, and Baptists, 10.0%. Other Christians include Jehovah's Witnesses, 0.6%, Roman Catholics, 7.5%, Evangelicals, 2.8%, Church of God, 2.5%, Brethren Christian, 1.3%, and the Salvation Army, 0.3%. Between 1991 and 2001 the number of Anglicans, Brethren, Methodists and Roman Catholics decreased, while the number of Pentecostals, Evangelicals and Seventh-day Adventists increased. The number of non-Christians is small. These religious groups include the Rastafarians 1.5% of the population, Hindus and Muslims. Culture 
Topic. Topic. Sport. Topic. Cricket, rugby, and association football are most popular among men, whereas netball is most popular among women. Basketball, volleyball and tennis are also very popular. The country's prime football league is the NLA Premier League, which provides its national association football team with most players. A notable Vincentian footballer is Ezra Hendrickson, former national team captain who played at several major league soccer clubs in the United States and is now an assistant coach with the Seattle Sounders FC. The country regularly participates at the Caribbean Basketball Championship where a men's team and a women's team compete. St. Vincent and the Grenadines also has its own national rugby union team which is ranked 84th in the world. Other notable sports played at the regional level include track and field. Topic. Music Topic. Music popular in St. Vincent and the Grenadines includes big drum, calypso, soca, chutney, steelpan and reggae. String band music, quadrille and bell music and traditional storytelling are also popular. One of the most successful St. Vincent natives is Kevin Little. He was named cultural ambassador for the island the 19th of September 2013. The national anthem of St Vincent and the Grenadines is St Vincent land so beautiful. Adopted upon independence in 1979. Topic: Media. Topic: St. Vincent has 12 FM radio stations including 88.9 Adoration FM, 89.1 GEM Radio, 89.7 NBC Radio, 95.7 and 105.7 Praise FM, 96.7 Nice Radio, 97.1 Hot 97, 98.3 Star FM, 99.9 We FM, 103.7 Hits, 102.7 Easy Radio, 104.3 Extreme FM and 100 6.9 Boom FM. Several internet radio stations including Chronicles Christian Radio. It has one television broadcast station ZBG TV, SVG TV and one cable television provider. St. Vincent and the Grenadines Broadcasting Cooperation is the parent company for SVG TV, Magic 103.7. Political parties. Topic. Unity Labour Party, in office New Democratic Party Saint Vincent and the Grenadines, in opposition Democratic Republican Party Saint Vincent and the Grenadines Saint Vincent and the Grenadines Green Party Topic. See also Topic. Template, Portal Caribbean Outline of St. Vincent and the Grenadines Index of St. Vincent and the Grenadines related articles Topic. References Topic. Topic. Further reading Topic. Topic. External links Topic. Government official website Website of the Prime Minister of St. Vincent and the Grenadines Chief of State and Cabinet Members General Information St. Vincent and the Grenadines The World Factbook. Central Intelligence Agency St. Vincent and the Grenadines from UCB Libraries Govpubs St. Vincent and the Grenadines at Curlie St. Vincent and the Grenadines from the BBC News Wikimedia Atlas of St. Vincent and the Grenadines Key development forecasts for St. Vincent and the Grenadines from International Futures <laughs>